Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video of Elec Electronics. Here in front of you you can probably see a a USB microscope it is. Um it's it's quite good. You know, it's I don't know the exact make or model because it was just listed on eBay as USB microscope and it's from this Chinese company. And so today I'm going to be testing it out and showing you how to install all the components that you need to on your computer in order to use this. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so this is the software we're going to be using. It's called AMCAP or AMCAP. It's simple and it's free. You can probably see there it says buy now. You don't need to worry about that. We're going to use the free download which gives you all the features we need to use our microscope. Okay, so if we just press download and download again. I will put the link in the description for this by the way and you'll see down here it says if you're using Google Chrome like me it will say softonic download.exe or whatever your downloads is it'll be right there by the way in case you're wondering why I'm not using a screen capture tool it's because my microphone on my computer is so bad <laughs> I'm ordering a new one though so if you just click that at the bottom link click from it will do an ordinary softonic installation um, when you get to this bit which asks you do you want to run the program um, just click yes oops sorry about that and you see the softonic loading screen again and then up here you'll see an installer all you need to do is press accept to all of these choose custom so it won't download any like horrible, horrible um, software that you're never going to use, and it's going to what do you call it? Bloatware, I think that's the name for it. Yeah, bloatware. Um, so then, just click custom next. Um, click no thanks to download that, and then it will begin to install, and I'll be back once it's finished install. Okay, so once the soft on it thing is installed, it will come up with a folder usually that has a file called setup in it and all you need to do from there is run run that application setup and then just press yes when it says do you want to download this and then it'll come up with the wizard just click next ordinary wizard install it will install and you can view the readme if you want and that's it we have just finished installing AMCAP or AMCAP which is brilliant because we can now use our device okay for this bit I've got ha I've gone handy so that I can just show you how to set this thing up if you most of them are similar you'll have some buttons on the side saying on and off a little red button or some kind of button you might not have that focus thing on top and it should even come with a stand oops just zoom back out there and on this on this bit here you can see there's a cover take that off because otherwise you won't get clear images that's it and then where's this USB going around the back of my computer somewhere somehow all you need to do now is plug this USB in. and I'm just moving my mouse drop it on the floor <laughs> um, now all you need to do is plug in this USB it shouldn't be too hard but when you're holding a camera it can be hard there you go then it will say something like installing device driver software which is good and then I'll be back after we've done that alright so what you need to do next is once you've got all this plugged in it's all ready to go it's not good position at the moment but just face that down there for a second you go into our uh, AM cap and for this, for obvious reasons, I have covered my webcam, as you can see, just, I don't need to look into my room and everything. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go to, let me just zoom in on this bit. Uh, let me see, I don't think, I'll have to go hand for this. But what you need to do, oops. You need to go to a tab called Devices, 
and then click the Vimico or whatever it's called. There you go, it's all set up and you are ready to use your microscope. Right, now because I, so you can see it better, I have made AMCAP full screen and I've set up the, the microscope so that if you can see, I've got a little 10 pence here. And it's very good, I had to focus it, you focus it with this bit here if you can see. The bit that I just showed you, look, there's the wire. Can move that out of the way for a second. It's not really in the way at the moment, but if you can see, you can move it around. And you can, there's also a light on it. I think I can go hand handy for this for this bit. I think I'll have to. But if you just see... It was up here. I've got a little light. If you turn that on, there's a little switch. If you press, well do on you can see it lights up it's, and in some cases you can see a sharper image as you can see like my finger the wires a bit sharper everything's a bit sharper right so um, I'm gonna be showing a few things underneath the microscope showing you what they look like alright so here is one of those little Lego antennae things. Um, let me just see if I can focus it a bit more, maybe. Uh, that'll have to do. You probably can't see it very well, but it's... Just look at it, that's one stud. You can see it very well. It's up to 200 times zoom, I think. Just look, extreme size, and you can also zoom out manually. And you have to sometimes, and there you go, it's there. You would obviously need to just the frame and everything. There's the Lego antenna. You can probably see next we have a toy car wheel. Just to get you a sense, I'm going to go handy. Just look how big that is, and that's how big in reality. So, this that is exactly what a car wheel looks like. Thank you very much for watching another video of Elic Electronics. Click, click my computer screen right now to subscribe.